Connecticut bets big on the future of electric boat. Good evening. I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Scott McDonald with a $5 billion military contract on its hands. The submarine maker reaching a deal with the state for additional financial support to help EB make improvements and grow its workforce. The state will provide loans for equipment and machinery, tax exemptions, and workforce development. EB will make millions in capital investments and hire nearly 2,000 new workers. News 8's Tina Detel has a closer look at the deal. Last year, Electric Boat hired 2,000 new employees and more. Now, this new partnership is expected to allow it to continue that trend. Under the terms of this new agreement, Electric Boat will grow its workforce by nearly 1,900 jobs, bringing it to over 13,000 jobs in the coming years. The Groton Shipbuilder will also make $850 million in capital improvements over the next 17 years and more than double spending to its 700 Connecticut vendors, while the state will provide $20 million for dredging to add a new dry dock, and it will loan EB $35 million to get started. And this investment sends a strong message to our U.S. Navy customer of Connecticut's support and commitment to building a great submarine fleet. Folks at Muddy Waters Cafe learned of the so-called historic new partnership straight from the governor. We're very honored that he did stop in and uh, relay the news. They've already noticed a lot of new workers. We do see people on weekends, workers for Electric Boat, and uh, that have moved into the area looking for things to do and places to go. Do you think you'd see this day? I'll be honest with you. I uh, we had reservations when you know we when we shrunk down, as I said, to less than 2,000 people. But now they're growing. The state is also providing an eight million dollar grant for training, like it has with the manufacturing pipeline. EB is set to build 29 more Virginia class submarines and 12 of the new Columbia class subs. It's not just new submarines, it's also maintenance work. If you may remember, last year, Electric Boat lost out on a $385 million contract to overhaul the USS Boise. It doesn't want to see that happen again. In New London, right across the Thames River from the Groton shipyard, Tina Detell, News 8.